Okay, we are back for more of our everybody's favorite Baron Bird. Hooray! Does everybody like Glitter Gulch Mine? Because that's where we're going next. Hell yeah, let's go get ourselves some lung cancer. It's true. Anyway, yeah, uh, I was gonna say, it's just being served today, so. Well. Yeah, kind of a tough crowd tonight. Oh, well. Yeah. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. So now, now that we're done with ancient Central America, it's time to go to Pennsylvania. Or hey. West Virginia, rather. Nah, no, nah, you're right on. You're right on both accounts. Lot of. Uh... I always forget which one it is. I want to say we were. The... I want to say Pennsylvania does a lot of anthracite coal, or at least right. they, or at least they did. Right, but Pennsylvania is also the one that's more on fire. It's true. We have a city that is literally burning underneath. It's been burning for like sixty years straight. And it still shows no sign of stopping. Fun fact, that city was the inspiration for Silent Hill. At least the underworld part of it. So yeah, we got fire eggs. They're eggs, but they're on fire. Yay, now we get to blow shit up. No, or no, rather, no. we will later. I say, no, that's the next one. That's true. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Jam Jars. We don't care. Alright, I think there is... Yep, there it is. And before we start the level, we're gonna go toss in a couple of these and go get some extra health. Hell yeah. I don't like what they did with the system in this one. I think it worked better in Kazooie, where it was just like, "Hey, you give oh, them, you, you you know, you collect five of these and you get an extra piece of health," instead of this weird system where you trade in one and then two and then four, and it's dumb. I suppose so. Yeah, it's not quite a heart container analog in this. Is it one, then two, then four, then four again, or like does it go up to eight or sixteen? Um, there's only there's three per level, and I think three on the overworld. There's, there's only like thirty total, roughly. Hmm. Still, though, the first couple are practically freebies, so... There's no reason not to at this point in the game. Okay, looks like it's... One in three, then? Five, maybe? That, that looks... That, yeah, that looks a bit more reasonable. Yeah, one, probably one, probably one, three, five, seven, nine. Maybe. And... Yeah, I know, you, I know your max health is ten in this one. Yeah. Wait, hang on. I remember hearing a Jinjo. I don't know where they are, though. Uh, oh, right, under that boulder. We can't, can't break that yet. Yeah, we do not have the proper moves yet. Alright, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, did I say game? But, okay, there it is. <laughs> so yeah, this is Glare Gulch Mine! I like this level. It's not great. Like, it's got a couple moments that are annoying, but for the most part, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. It's it. and Nothing I, I, to really write home about, but there are some parts of it that are neat. It. I like the uh, I like the music, to be honest. Mm. It's very fitting. There, there's Wumba. We're not going to worry about her yet. They did at least get the aesthetic right for this. Okay, that we need the build drill for... 
What is this? This is the fuel depot. I don't know if we can do anything here yet or not. Uh, oh yes, I think we can. There's a underwater maze here, if I remember right. And we need the thing. That's for Wumba. Oh, right. Yeah, that's for Wumba. I forget if you can blow that up with your fire eggs. Uh. Oh no, it's another part of the level. Okay. Okay, this is a, yeah, this is one we need with Wumba. And, uh, I don't think you can, but... Oh. Whoops. Hang on. Stop streaming. Oh, rip. Start streaming. Come on. You can do it. Emulator, please. It's... okay. Alright, we're back. <laughs> All right. We have a con what? Why is it not? Now it doesn't know what my save state is. Okay, sure. Good job. Where is? Okay. Let's try this again. Come Once on, more with feeling. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute, is it frozen for you, too? <laughs> Alright, once more with feeling. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that crashed. I don't know what would cause, like, I wasn't even doing anything there. Wasn't it when the when the TNT stick hit you directly? I guess. Hmm. I don't know. That's eh, not. A we'll big... have to keep. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out if it happens again. All right, let's drop a save state here. Probably a good idea. N64 emulation is notoriously finicky. All right, we're gonna we're gonna, say, we're gonna try and get the bill drill first, because that's really the most important thing here. Yeah, I don't think you can do much of anything without it. Hook me up, jam jars. What do you got? Yeah, there we go. I do have to appreciate that they basically made half the characters in this rhyme. Is it only half? I thought it was more than that, to be honest. No, it's only half, because it's only, it's only Jam Jars and the three witches. I don't think anybody else does it. Yeah, I guess the other, everybody else has their own little racist thing that they do. True. Alright, I don't... Yeah, that's right, this game is very racist. Alright, I don't think we can do anything in the Power Shack. Are you sure about that? Oh, I know what this one is. Uh, we have to do this one from the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, we have to do this from the, uh, My Hem Temple side. Ah, yeah. And I think there's something you need to do... from here on the Witchy World side. 
Uh, the Witchy World thing we have to do with- we do with Wumba. It's the- or Humba, it's the, uh... That we have to blow open the thing so that the box can get through. Hmm. Anyway. Can't help you unless you give us a jiggy. <laughs> it's fucking extortion. Kazooie driving the hard bargains here. Um... I guess it's in- yeah, I guess it's in a different room. Because there, there's mm. also the uh, mining minigame thing. I don't remember a mining minigame, actually. It's the, uh, the first-person shooter part in this one, where you have to defuse- Oh, yeah. Where you have to break all the TNT. Yeah, I wouldn't qualify that as a minigame, necessarily. But, yeah, that is easily the worst of the three FPS sections in this game. Uh, let's see, so there should be another... Say Mumbo's Globo should not be far. I'm just not sure where. I thought you already got it at the beginning of the level. Well, no, I got I got the one Globo, but there's still the uh. Oh, the other one, yeah. Oh, there he is. All right, we don't need Mumbo yet, so I'm gonna hold off on that. I think at this point we can we can start going into the side areas. Yeah, probably. Where uh, to start though? Um there's the train station there. We do need Mumbo for that. There's probably a Jinjo underneath this. Yep. Yeah, um, alright, well I guess since we're here at number three, we'll just start there. Let's see what sort of wonderful things are hiding behind here. So there's your answer. One black Jinjo counts exactly as one-ninth of a white Jinjo. Can't go that way. Camera, camera, what the fuck are you doing? Camera, please. Oh, okay. Let's see if I remember. How do I shoot? There we go. Oh, this section. Yup. I do not I do not remember having enjoyed this part of the level at all. I mean, it's not hard. It's just, you know, follow the uh follow the route here. I mean, they worked hard on that lighting engine when they made DK64, so they have to get some mileage out of it, damn it. That's, that's, that's right. That's right. They put in all that work, and they'll be damned if they're not going to get something out of it. Yeah, really. I mean, you can totally tell this one. This was the one that had actual effort put into it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Almost there, almost there. Got it. Ooh, careful now. There we go. Well, there's one jiggy down. Also, those are some horribly fuel inefficient generators. I mean, we shot literal fire into it and it just powered them up for about 15 seconds. 
yeah, it's like, how the hell do they keep it running? I'm not, and so I guess I have to break that from the other side because there's no, nothing from here. Hmm. Right, well, there's mine number three done. At least for now. Wow, Project 64 does not like these these uh, floor textures. Not one bit. Yeah, really. Alright, let's see what we got here. Project 64 also has a bad tendency of, like, erasing uh, tracks and shit. Alright, there's another Black Jinjo there. Don't know what there's anything... Don't see anything else, so let's keep going. Oh! There it is. I found the other side of it, I guess. Woohoo! I guess. Uh, this is really just a shortcut. Can I blow these up with fire eggs? I can! Oh, the TNT boxes? Yeah, you totally can. Okay, so that opens that up. Now, what the fuck is the point of coming down here? Oh, there's a split up pad. Well, all right then. Oh, right, yeah, we'll come back to those later. Much later. Oh, yeah, because this is where you're supposed to write. I remember. Yep, nothing we're doing here. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, because yep. yeah, you need to use uh, one of them to hold down the power switch while the other does platforming. Okay, yeah. We're not doing this for at least four more levels then. I think at this point, all that's really open to you is... Eh, we can do a few things. I was gonna say, we can go to yeah. the train station with Mumbo. We can go... Yeah, it's like, train station, Canary Mary, and the, uh, shooter section. Yeah, we have to... F so, let's just... Yeah, we'll get there in a second. Sub... There's a Jinjo. Oh, nice. We got two of the three yellows already. Oh, that's neat. Alright, so I don't think we've been on this side at all yet. Let's see, this was... Yeah, because this is the fuel depot. Yeah, you're back at the start. Yeah. We need, we need to build roll up here. Yep, here's the mini game. Oh boy, are you ready for the best part of the level yet, guys? I love this bit. Oh yeah. All right, jam jars, hook me up. Right, so, now we can poke things with Kazooie. Hooray. Alright, let's get this over with. Some serious World War I tactics up here. Ah, 
Ah, uh, uh, there's the kicker. That's what makes this mission so freaking annoying. So, yeah, there's, um... As you can see, there's 15 of these little bundles of TNT. And once we break one, the timer on all of them starts. And if you shoot even one of them with a spray egg, you die. Alright, the best way to do this is to be thorough. Do all your upstairs stuff before switching levels. You really mm -hmm. do do not want to go be going over anything twice because you just don't have time. Yeah, like... I would say the time is actually the tightest for this one. Because these fuckers are actually pretty well hidden. So I think this is where we started? Maybe? Yes, that's where we started. Yes. Oh, yeah, here's the one I was thinking of. Get out of here. Yeah, that was like 20 seconds wasted. Alright, I think that's everything upstairs. Get out of here. Get out of here. If nothing else, much like in Mayhem Temple, all the locations are fixed. So you don't have to worry about RNG on top of that. Also, yeah, these guys are here to trick you into shooting at things and hopefully hitting one of the TNT sticks, so don't fall for it. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Capital B. kind of disturbing how these TNT sticks are jumping around and moving but they have no eyes. Yeah, what the hell, Rare? These don't... Yeah, why, it's why, like you, you had one job. Why don't these guys have googly eyes? Everything else does. Okay, one more. Two more, actually. Oh, no, one more. And this is the best part, when you don't know where the last one is. Yep. Nine times out of ten, you lose this minigame because you can't find that fucking last one. Found it. Oh god. Eight seconds to spare. Yeah. I mean, we did waste we did waste all that time near the beginning, but yeah, now you see that the time is really really tight here. It's all right, we did it. Ne that's two of these three sections done now. Wait, can we go up from here? Do we need to go... Yeah, here it is. Oh yeah, the best part is it doesn't automatically warp you back to the start. You have to navigate your way all the way back to the start of the maze. That's eh, not such a big deal. No, I guess not. Not for this one. The last one, though. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. So we've got a couple things on our Wumba list. We've got... Let's say we got the train station with Mumbo. So 
So it should be now just whatever... Yeah, here's the hut. This is Mumbo. And then we need to go... up there. That's an easy one, though. Hmm. Yeah, so that's just the, uh... Oh, what do you call it? The, um, the speed shoes from the start. Ah, uh, okay. Well, no, that, yeah. well, that one I think might be spring shoes, but there's another one that... Yeah, you might want to leave the train station for last, because that's where the boss is. Alright, let's get that. There's Jinjo. Okay. I thought Canary Mary was in here, apparently not. Now where the fuck is the exit? There it is. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, we're good. I don't, th I don't think it instant kills you, it just starts draining your health constantly. Yep, that was all it was. Alright. A, there is another one that has Canary Mary in it, though. And everybody loves Canary Mary. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we have two entrances here. This one goes to a thing. I don't know what this thing is. This is a humba thing. I want to say this one actually leads to Witchy World. Yeah, because you can only get to the UFO section from here, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is where the, uh, the water maze is. Oh. I can say there's also... a Jinjo... up there. I think that's just... yeah, because I think you can just grab this and then... Alright, anything in this one? Yeah, it's a Cheeto page. Completely useless to us. Well, to be fair, I think you do have to actually unlock the ones that he has before you can get... Like, you can't just enter them even if you know them. But don't quote me on that. Hmm... No, if I remember correctly, you can actually enter... Well, it's not all of them. Some of them you can enter without having unlocked it. There are others that you cannot do that. Um... Which ones are which, though? This is not one that we can do yet. Or at least we can't get that one... Wait, can we do anything here? Waterfall cavern... Uh... I know you fall in from above, and then... Yeah, there's... I don't think we have this ability. We do not. Isn't isn't this part... Isn't this part of Jolly Roger, technically? Maybe? Yeah, the texture seem to... The texture seem to line up with that. There's that little goodie. Anything else down here? Does not look like it. Uh, nope. Nothing else of importance over there. Alright, let's go... Pretty sure we have to turn this on first, and then we have Mumbo drop it in. 
Ah, right. The old crusher shed. Yeah, there's always one of these in every rare game, basically. Sometimes there's more than one of these. And I can't even cheat. What the fuck is this? Nope, crushers are like the one thing you cannot completely cheese with invincibility wings. Bunch of bullshit rare. Oh, these are just eggs. I think there were feathers there for some reason. Nope, no such luck for you. Alright, let's go get Mumbo. Where? There it is. Yeah, that mumbo pad almost didn't render there for a second. I think it's one of those weird- it's one of those things where, like, the, if you're right on top of a texture, for whatever reason, it doesn't load, and I don't know why. Project 64 shenanigans, I guess. Because clearly it's too much effort to actually ride a proper Nintendo 64 emulator. To be fair, the N64 is all kinds of fucked up. Like, even the actual hardware. True, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's nearly as reliant on specific electrical effects like the SNES was for some games. But the instruction set is plenty fucked up, yeah. So, not to mention that Banjo Tui is probably, I don't know if it's the most demanding game on the N64, but it's gotta be real damn close. I mean, it is one of the best looking N64 titles. I mean, not only is it one of the best looking ones, it also has a huge in game world, and True. it's. You say, and it. You say, how much fucking. Sh bullshit does Rare do to get all of its shit working? I don't know, they're fucking wizards. It's a shame we never got a proper third game, but at least there's ukulele. I played the toy box of that. That was pretty cool. Hmm. I, I like it, but I would... I really don't understand why it doesn't have a grip grab. Like, that seems like that would be pretty obvious. But, you know, what the fuck do I know? To be fair, you might just not get it right off the bat. I guess, but, like, the whole point of the toy box was to basically be like, hey, here's... You know, this is what the actual game is going to play like. Here's a here's a bunch of your abilities to play around with, and it feels really weird that they wouldn't consider the ability to grab ledges to be one of those core abilities. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Maybe they're maybe they might add it in later, who knows? Because, like, you've got equivalents for basically everything else. Like, you've got your Talon Trot equivalent, you've got the High Jump, you've got Aerial Attacks, you've got... Um, what? Nope, oh, thank you, game. <laughs> but no, like, is the level explicitly... Like, is, is the Toy Box... Is the toy box area in ukulele actually meant to be in game, or is it literally just like a test level? No, it's it's it's, it's a test around? level. It's absolutely just a test level. Oh, okay then. 
So yeah, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a proper ledge grab then. I mean, they probably still have at least a year and a half left of development. I think they said they were shooting for... They were shooting for like quarter two 2017 or something like that? Ha ha ha, that ain't gonna happen. That is perhaps being a bit too optimistic. I would actually put it at around October 2017-ish. I don't know if I go that far, but they also haven't really shown, like, directly, like, hey, this is how much of the game we have done. So it's it's really hard to say. Right. Anyway, I'm fairly certain that's all we need from him, so let's just get out of here. Yeah. Now let's go get the other excellent party member here. Wumba's transformation for this level is, uh... Interesting, let's say. Oh, yeah. Can you even hit that switch yet? Yeah, we can hit it, but I don't... I need the speed shoes to get there. And I just... I'm lazy. They're over by the ah. entrance. Now we cook the cute little animal in the liquid peyote. And now we're a plunger! Oh, Wumba. Not just any plumb, not just any plunger. An IED. That's such a dumb thing. I hate that your only attack is to fucking explode yourself. It actually hurts you too. Come on, come on. Self de self destructing go. takes away takes away one point of damage. <sighs> oh, here it is. Here's our buddy. Oh boy. I'm sorry, but that is not a canary in the slightest. It's what I'm... Actually, 16 years later, I just realized that that is a weird lady cosplaying as a canary. Yeah, she has actual wings, though. Yeah, fucked up as it is. Oh, so she's basically Chocolina's great, 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 great grandmother. Sure, let's go with that. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to her race in a moment. Right, yeah, also the more I look at her design, the more disturbed I am. Is there anything else in here worth getting? I don't think there is. I'm gonna blow no. this up. No, that was just flat. That was just feathers. Yeah. Also, there was a prison cell. Yeah, there's a couple things that we can do with the, uh... Also, yep, there it is. 
And you actually lose two health for self-destructing, not one. Do you? I think it's just one. Oh, no, it's just one, yeah. You're right. Alright, let's try and get all of this shit done at once. So we can just be, go be gone with this thing. Yeah, like, this is basically the worst transformation. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. There we go. Yep, yes, thank you, Jam Jars, I know. Alright, so we need to go to the Crushing Shed first. Alright, so... Oh, there's that. I like that they have an actual check for when you're standing on the edge of the pad, but not on the pad. Can I not? collect these is the thing? Huh, okay. I didn't know that. The more you know, I guess, yeah. I don't know why on earth it wouldn't let you... Oh, I know why. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, you gotta be just right in order to activate these things. Oh wait, no, that shouldn't... No, I was gonna say it's I was gonna say it's probably because the like the plunger has no animations for getting a jiggy, but that's probably entirely wrong. It might actually be correct. I don't know of any jiggies you actually get as the plunger. Yeah, because there are jiggies you can get as other transformations. But yeah, like I don't I don't recall you getting any as the as the plunger. Oh! Oh I can get it. Okay, sure, whatever. What the fuck? I'm apparently just not touching its fucking minuscule hitbox there that whole time. There we go. Alright, so... Wait, did we need it by the train station? Um, maybe? Let's find out. Where does this one go? Doesn't hurt to check. Uh, no. This goes back to the generator cavern. Yeah, no. There's nothing you can do here. Wait a minute. No, I don't want to be here. I want to... Also, your phone's ringing. What? No. No, it's not. I think you're still missing the prison area? Yeah, that's where I'm going next. Nope, nope, come on. Come on, buddy, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. Yeah, this thing's movement is so freaking awkward. Another Jinjo. Oh. There we go. 
I say this way goes back around the other one. So yeah, we don't need it anywhere else here. So of course a black ginger was in jail. That's some incisive commentary, Rare. They would be the ones to do it. And you know that's true. Yeah. Wait, am I going the right direction? No. No, that's back to the... Fun fact, I think you're act you actually go faster if you skip on the water. Because yes, you can float. Wait, shit, which one is it? Is this the right one? I thought this was... Yeah, this is the... This is the train station. I want to go to the... I, want... I need to go back to the fuel depot. Hmm. Which is... This one. Yeah. So here's Canary Mary. We have to untransform for that one, though. Wait, did I miss these notes? I swear I got these. Okay, sure, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's the entr here's the entrance to Witchy World. There we go. And no, you had gotten these originally. It's just that. The game crashed on you afterwards. Oh, right. Gotcha. Because you actually went here first. Right, then that goes through and we have to open this gate from the other side. Okay, I think now we're done with this stupid fucking plunger. Yep. All right, so we got to run on the water, we got to do the Canary Mary race, and we have to fight the boss. Is yep. that? I think that's about everything. Yeah, that's that's oh, all that's left here. Oh, and the flooded caves. We did open up that. That was behind the hut that we blew up. Hmm. So. Yeah, but the flooded caves. I don't think we can tackle yet. Oh, we can. There's a Jiggy in there we can get, but there's another entrance to it that we can't get to because it's because we need the uh, Talon Torpedo. So we can do like half of it. Alright, so let's do... Let's get Canary Mary out of the way first. Yeah, best to get her out of the way. Alright, here we go. Then again, she's not that annoying here. It's her second appearance that's really... Uh... So guys, do you like button mashing? This one because is pretty... That's... Yeah, this one is pretty easy. I don't have to go too crazy on it. No, it's the other one. Yeah, you just it's want the other one where you need an electric toothbrush, basically. I just want to do just enough to stay ahead of her by a consistent amount. Yeah, because the thing about Canary Mary is she rubber bands. Oh, she rubber badly. bands like a motherfucker. So 
say there's a Jinjo up here somewhere. I'm just not sure where. Also, gotta love those static camera angles. Alright, well there's one down. Let's do round two. Round two gives you a Cheeto page, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, this is the last Cheeto page in the level. Too overboard. Also, what the hell kind of minecart is operated by a seesaw, anyways? Like, that is most certainly not OSHA compliant. I don't know, sir, what are you talking about? It says it right there in the stream title. This is an OSHA compliant mining facility. I don't believe you. question is, who even dug this mine? Oh my, yeah, you go ahead and swoop and soar among the clouds. Uh. Oh. That's actually a really good level once we get there, but that's a long ways away. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so that's fuel storage done. And we got a piece of literal toilet paper as our reward. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna follow the tracks for a little bit because I know that there is a Jinjo on there somewhere, and I don't know where. I think that would be the last one you need to find, right? Um, that sounds right. We'll check my totals in just a minute here. Once I get out of the fucking water. Good job falling off that cliff there, buddy. Well, it's not here. Wait, did I get it already? I thought should have seen it by now. Hmm. You might have. If yeah. you're talking about the one, if you're talking about the one like at the top of that little stone tower, yeah, we got that one a while ago. What? Well, we're still missing a ginger somewhere. And a lot of jiggies, but otherwise we got everything. It might be part of the... At the top of the purple hill. According to chat. Oh, okay. Mm. So I did get it. Alright. I don't know which one. I don't know what I'm missing, then. It might be in the floating cavern? Or in the flooded caverns, I'm sorry. 
Hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get some of this taken care of. Time to fight all old King Cole. Whose name totally isn't a reference to anything. This boss is so so bad. I. <laughs> He's such a joke. If you come back with the ice eggs, you can kill him in like five shots. Oh yeah, because that's a thing that was introduced in this game. Boss weaknesses. Yeah, I think ice eggs actually do more damage than grenade eggs. At least to this boss. Okay. These fucking buns. No great loss indeed. I don't remember if fire eggs hurt him at all, but I don't think I they do. I think they actually do too. Yeah, try using the fire eggs. I think they actually do two damage. They do, in fact, not do anything. Oh. Huh, I guess I guess he's immune. But yeah, like in most cases, fire eggs do both fire and ice eggs do two damage. Also, I like how he can talk without a face. Eh, he got better. Oh, oh no. Don't want to be there. Nope, stop. Kazooie, what are you doing? I can't believe I just got hit by old King Cole. I feel ashamed. Good job. so bad. Just burned through almost all of our uh, eggs. Yeah. This boss kind of a scrub. Less of a threat than the literal totem pole. Yeah, at least the totem pole exploded on you. Yeah, at least it had a projectile attack. Okay, so that's that. Now we want to head to the crushing shed. Cause, okay, we got the jiggy here, but we need to go down this way. Oh, I know where I know the one we're missing. The ginger we're missing is on top of the uh, water cooler. Ah. So that yeah, that's the one we can't get yet. All right, so. Flooded Caves is great. It's a maze. I don't know the route. Like, I know vaguely where I'm going, but not in any... Not in any measured manner. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, that was easy. Hi. Guys. Oh, hey, Blast. What you doing? 
We're playing banjo. Cool. Party. Well, yeah. Just finished my ass my assignment for the entire semester, so took a small nap, and and now I'm fully refreshed. And are you guys streaming this? Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. Oh. oh. Sleep. Sleep. There we go. Maybe I should. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're good. We're we're just about done with um glitter gulch mine. And I was saying maybe I should pop in and take a look. See. Yeah, I think we're about done with this level. Yeah, I don't there's... know if you, I don't know if you want to start on Witchy World or not. Probably not. I'll probably just clean up the last little bits. Like I'll go back to my Hem Temple and let that uh take care of the one thing and free ah, the, free the gotcha. rat. Come on. So there's a couple small things that we can do now that we have Bill Drill. Mm, that's true. Which direction am I actually going? I don't remember. I forget if there's a couple overworld jiggies you can get with it, too. There might be? Also, you're about to die. Yeah, yeah. in the direction that, that leads to bubbles. It's alright. Is this an... Uh, wait a minute, hang on. That's not mm -hmm. where I came in. Hang on, where am I? That's I didn't think that was where I actually came in, so that's I think this Good goes job, you're lost. This goes somewhere else, I think. This goes to I want to say this goes to Jolly Roger. Oh! Oh no, we can get that. We're Oh no, we can't. Shit. All right. Oh well. Oh rip. That's all right. Hmm. So All right, so let's just have a look real quick. There, we're missing four jiggies. There's one from the prospector once you let the rat back in. There's one on top of the waterfall that we can't get to. There's the one in the one we need the speed shoes to get. And I don't know what the fourth one is. Don't you get a... Um... You know, all, all, all five Jinjos? No, that's in the first game. Uh. Yeah, now it's whenever you get all the Jinjos of the same color. Uh, let's see, we want to go here. And this time the Jinjo Jiggies count as Overworld Jiggies. Alright, uh, where are my speed shoes? This one. Alright, where is the button? with the semester for now. Now I only have two things to worry about all the time. Your job and what else? My other job. Ah. Uh -huh. The family business. Oh, oh, right. You're still technically running that. Oh. This goes up here. I didn't realize that. Okay, well that's one of the one of the jiggies that we thought we could not get that we can. No, well then.
Okay, so that brings us up to... So yeah, like I said, there's one... There's one we need the springy shoes for. One that we need... Well, yeah, one from the Prospector. Again, I don't know what the last one is. It's probably like an... Oh, you know what I bet it is? I bet it's down there. Down where? Yeah, so where the, uh, behind the Talon torpedo boulder? Oh, yeah, that's probably where the last one is. Do you have... No, you don't get that until... until Jolly Roger, so... two levels from now. Yeah, it'll be after Witchy World. So yeah, I think that's all we can do here, then. Yep, pretty much. We're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. Get all the jiggies in a level like the first time you visited it. That's not a thing you can really do in this game. Yeah, you can only do that. You can only do that in like the last couple levels. <laughs> All right, where is this thing? All right, at least this will be quick, and then we'll get out of here. Yeah. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, there's another Jiggy we can get here in my hand Temple now. But we'll get that in just a second. Okay, come on, buddy. How did you take longer to get here? You went in the same hole we did. <laughs> Alright. And now we never have to talk to these rednecks ever again. I can't believe that a fox and a uh, a fox and a rat are sustaining a relationship. That's fucked up. Doesn't have a bucket for a head. So are you saying you're against inter interspecies marriage, Artix? That's very problematic of you. It's true. I am the most problematic person in the world. Yeah, you are. Alright, let's go get this little thing. So yep, this is uh this gimmick is pretty straightforward. You just find the right pole and run into it, and that causes a jiggy to bounce. And then eventually it just comes down and you grab it. I just have to remember which one it's on. That one. one yeah ah uh, i see where this is going yeah i didn't remember this one he's gonna yeah. bounce it all 
You say you're cutting out there, Blast. You all right? Yeah, I might want to mess with your noise gate, your noise gate settings a bit, cause yeah. I think we are actually completely done with my hem temple. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep, 100%. Alright. Then is. We're gonna open up the next level because I know we have the jiggies for that. Yeah, we do. Technically, I think we might even have enough to open up level four or two. Well, that's what I think. I already opened up. Uh, I already opened up Witchy World, but this will be for Jolly Roger Bay. Hmm. Okay then. Yeah. It is time to go see the mighty Jimmy Wimmy. Ah, yes, the puzzle pope. The puzzle pope that has a fucking orbital laser cannon. What? I mean, you you don't? I thought that was just a common occur just a common occurrence that you would have just lying around. I mean, sure, like, every religious leader has some kind of giant fuck-off laser cannon, right? Uh, where is it? There it is. It is legitimately very hard to tell where openings actually are with the graphics plugin being what it is. <laughs> yeah, these puzzle sections, I don't know, man. All right. In pieces. I didn't hear any of that other than something in pieces. <laughs> Perhaps it was for the best. Behold, the power of crystal math! Oh my... And all that just to melt away a little gate. We didn't even, like, melt it away, it just opened. Yeah, it just opened up, it's like... Oh, all oh, I... that built all that build up for nothing. Oh, I do have enough to do the next one. Okay, sure. What the hell? We'll do that too. Oh. I thought Pterodactylan would have needed more. Wait. I'm sorry? Oh. Where the fuck does this thing go? Uh... Remember, you can rotate. You can do what? I believe you can rotate pieces. In fact, you might need to in some cases. Uh... How? Oh, hang on, this one goes... Yeah, I'm gonna need a refresher on how that one works, because I'm not seeing it. I think... I think you need to push, like, L and R? 
No? Oh, then I legit have no idea what's going on then. Maybe you did just pick up the wrong piece. Forget about the corners for now. You still got time. You still got this. Nope, you don't go there. You go... Here? Here. Yep. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, no, other one. There we go. I got it. Good job. Oh, this is probably my least favorite level. I fucking hate Pterodactyl Land. Ugh, yeah. I'm hesitant to call it the worst level, but it's up there. I don't know. Oh, it's it up there. I was say Jolly Rogers Lagoon is pretty bad. Is so this is Pterodactyl Land is pretty bad. Yeah, I would actually think uh, Jolly Roger is worse than Pterodactyl Land, purely because of the boss. All right, and then six is Grunty Industries, which is it's okay. Let's say, like, middle of the road. And then the Factory is actually my favorite level in this game. Yeah, no, no, Hailfire Peaks is my favorite. Hailfire Peaks is cool and good, too. Yes, I agree. And then, and then the last level is, uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Hailfire Peaks, and then... It's it's Hailfire... And then Cloud Cuckoo And then Cloud Cuckoo Land, yeah. Hailfire, yeah. I think you need 30? It's either 30 or 35. 35 sounds right, but, uh... Eh, whatever. We'll get to that next time. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So that's, uh, that's been Banjo-Tooie for today. Next time we'll tackle Witchy World, and... I say we'll prop maybe we'll get started on... Uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon? I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, Good yeah. Good night, folks. Yep, thanks for watching. Later, everyone.